So, EA released the full FIFA 23 database, or at least the top 1,000 players. So today, we're looking through some of the most OP cards that you can use at the start of FIFA 23. If you do enjoy, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let me know in the comments down below any cards you found that you think are underrated or hidden gems. This Guedes card looks absolutely nuts. Portuguese and French, so he's got some great links. Good pace, good shooting, good dribbling. That's a pretty tasty card. We don't have his in-game yet. His in-games yet, sorry. But like... That's a pretty nuts card, man. That is a that is a pretty nuts card. Fair play. Yeah, as a left wing, this will be cheap. Four star, four star, high high work rates, eighty nine pace, eighty five dribbling. He's quite short as well. He's like five for eight. Um, this is gonna be a decent card too. Um, he's finishing not terrible. Shot power is pretty low. Seventy two shot power is not great. You definitely need to improve that. But a good agility and balance and the four star skills in the Premier League is a nice. That's a nice card, man. For a starter like winger in the Prem. You're looking, you're looking good there. I tell you what, like, he's not in the Premier League, so the links won't be insane. But there are definitely going to be some good Ajax Wonder Kids in the game. Yuri and Timber, 82 pace, 81 defending, 81 physical. That's a good card, man. Good dribbling, like, decent passing. That is a good starter card for sure, bro. That's nice. If this card's got a secondary business CB, that's, that's crazy. Like, this is a nuts card. If he's got a secondary position. His, his defending stats have never been great, but I remember like every Carl Walker card you put a CB, you're not putting there to try and break up play. He is literally a recovery. You are just sprinting after like, three balls with Carl Walker, and it works, to be fair. Um, so if he's got a secondary position at CB, that's nice. That That is a, a nice, nice, nice out of that card. High, high work rates, bit of a letdown though, I can't lie. High, high work rates and two-star weak foot, the only things I'm thinking, not ideal. High, high work rates, what I've found is that a lot of the players typically push up the pitch, um, which is not ideal. That's with, that's in with a basic on full cam, by the way. What? Um, but yeah, high, high work rates, I don't like on a CB, I can't lie. Not bad. 89 pace, 86 dribbling, 83 shooting. Good agility and balance. And he's 5'10", so he's not a small guy. 72 strength on his base card is not bad too. Really good pace split. Finishing's really good. Shot power is decent as well. Good attack positioning. Like, there is some decent um, Colombian players. I can't lie. What's Davinson Sanchez looking like? Because if you're looking for, like, nation... I can't even... Where is he? If you're looking for nation links only, that's not a terrible starter Premier League CB. You've got Sinistera. You've got Davinson Sanchez. You've got Muriel now. Um, his pace split's not amazing. That's the only problem. But there are probably some really nice um, Colombian players in there. That you can put in and get some good links out with Muriel. You can definitely get him on full cam. And the City has looking pretty strong this year too. I imagine his body type is probably insane. 91 agility, 87 balance. Um, 5 foot 9. I think he's probably got a really nice body type as well. Um, good good pace split. Good shooting stats. Again, I don't like high high. 4 star skills is not bad too. 3 star weak foot is not amazing. But for the start of the game, I don't think it's an issue at all. Um, but this is going to be an expensive card. This card will be expensive. What's he looking at with the uh, basic? He's got 90 positioning with the basic on full cam. 95 agility as well. His physical stats are strong too. His physical stats are looking very strong. This is like, you know, you get this card untradeable, for example. You're looking really, really good. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, mate, this is, this is, this is the starter center mid in the Prem, right? I don't know. We don't know his skill is in weak foot yet or is in games. But just off the base card stats... This looks like it could be the starter for the for the Premier League. And that perfect link to Guedes, him and Guedes link is strong. That is a very, very strong looking uh, looking link right there. I'm being told to look at Lissandro Martinez as well. Let's have a look at Lissandro. I thought he'd have more pace, to be honest. Um, that's, the, that's a nice card. Don't get me wrong. But 5 foot 10 with the lack of pace, I don't think it's amazing. However, obviously, uh, on full chemistry with a shadow on, for example, 80 pace is not bad. Um, really good uh, physical stats. You really don't need to do much of his physicals at all. Defending stats aren't bad with the shadow one as well. His agility and balance again is lower than I thought it would be. And his passing's good. Um, it's a really good start CB, but I feel like it takes a few weeks and then he's out. You know, it, it takes one or two weeks and then he's like completely obsolete, I feel. Well, not obsolete, but just not used, you know? If he had like 80 pace on his base card, I feel like it's more of an ex like a, a reason to use a 5 foot 10 center back in the game. By the way, 5 foot 10 is generous. I think I feel like he's five foot eight in real life. <laughs> Has he? I feel like Emre Chan might have always been like going under the radar, but I've never noticed. That's a nice card, bro. For a CDM, his pace split is quite bad though. 
His pace split is not great at all. Um, if we were to put a shadow on him, for example, as a CDM with medium high work rates, this is the exact kind of card I would enjoy. Good short and long passing, great defending stats, great physical stats. Um, and his pace split with the shadow one's not bad at all. But the medium high is the main thing. Like, the one thing I noticed with a lot of CDMs is why I don't like using Kante. Oh, sorry, not Kante. It's why I don't use, like, um, it's why I like, I like using Kante and not a lot of CDMs is they typically have, like, high high or, like, medium medium. Some of them have high medium. I don't like that. I like having a, a medium high CDM um, on FIFA. And especially being six foot one as well, I feel like that works really, really well. I like that a lot. Um, you can partner him with Marlon. What's Marlon looking like? Daniel Marlon, 79 rated card. Oh no, his foot was down. No, it's not. We're good. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it. That's a good start card. I don't know why this ad. I don't know why I have Elastic Man as an ad. I really don't. I've never been on this in my life. But this is a this is a good. This is this is not bad at all. To be fair, 88 pace and he's got a really good pace split as well. Great agility and balance. Decent physical stats. His shooting stats aren't bad at all. You put him on full chemistry. I feel like I'd put a, probably a Hawk on him. Like, you're looking good. 93 shot power, 83 finishing. 4 star, 4 star as well. That's a nice card. That's a really, really good starter card for sure. This is a good starter card. And you can partner him with Timber as well. And without the new chemistry system works, obviously, they don't need to just be next to each other. But obviously, Timber and Teze will be. But, like, I like it. I like this card a, a, a lot. Like, the, the, the first starter card. But, like... For the first couple weeks after that, you're not going to need this card. You, I, I'd hope you're upgrading because, to be honest, what's going to happen is after a few weeks, when people start getting the really OP strikers, like the, the mid to higher level cards what, that we saw last year where people were getting Mbappes after a month or two, right? This card, all of a sudden, like he doesn't compete with anywhere close with Mbappes, you know? Um, but for the first week or two, like this is a really strong card. Being told to look at Gakpo as well, Cody Gakpo, 83 rated. Sheesh, go on, Cody Gakpo. 71 balance, I think, is harsh, but it's fair enough. He is, he is six foot two. This is a nice card, especially if you could play him up top as well. Um, this is a nice card. I feel like I'd probably put an engine on him, to be honest. Um, get that a balance right up. 91 pace. He's got really good shooting stats. Doesn't need a change in his shooting stats. Four star, four star as well. Wow. I feel like Gakpo as well, with him being Dutch in the area of his, he gets some nice links with Timber and Teze. This is a good card, man. This is a good card. And he should get an inform relatively soon. He is on fire at the minute for PSV. He really wants that move away. So this is a nice card. Zero star weak foot is kind of harsh for Rashford. I felt like he deserved at least a one star. <laughs> um, we don't know his, his uh, work rates, but I'd imagine they're high medium. He, or high low, actually. He really doesn't get back at all, if I'm being honest. But, again, Rashford at the start of the year is always one of my go-tos. I feel like his pace split is harsh. I'm a, I'm a bit confused at that, at that pace split. 83 acceleration is harsh. I feel, I feel like his acceleration is his strongest point. But, again, for a starter card, 92 shot power, 81 finishing. Like, I can't imagine he'll be super expensive. I feel, I feel like he'll have decent value, but not super expensive. Five-star skills as well. I do like this card. The Bundesliga always has these OPCBs, to be fair. But this card's looking good. Vardio. Um, I like it. Agility and balance, easily up upgraded with an engine card as well. It's crazy that that's one of the first things I look at now for CB agility and balance. I don't even, I actually don't use agility and balance center backs anyway. I don't use the ones that have super high agility and balance. I like the Varans with like 40, but I know a lot of people do like that. Um, but no, apparently Klosterman's looking good as well. Um, Klosterman's 80 rated, 86 pace. Oh my word. Okay. So like, we're, we're going Leipzig then. What's Galaxy then? Galaxy 85 rated. Okay, so I'm feeling like. You've got your three Leipzig players there pretty 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 quickly in uh Galaxy, Klosterman and, and Gavardio for your starter teams. That's a really strong that's a really strong start right there. I like that a lot. Okay. I mean Gucci is always a go to, right? Gucci is cheap this year. I wonder if he'll be as cheap this year. Sorry, I say this year is in FIFA twenty two. Um but Gucci was cheap on FIFA twenty twenty two. So I wonder if he'll be cheap this year as well. Great agility and balance, five star skills, really good go to. French Premier League, great links. I mean, Gucci, Gucci's the one usually. Gucci's the one, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, Basuma's not bad, to be fair, for a DM. Again, this is what I mean earlier. Like, high medium on DM, I don't like. Like, they push up too much. But four star skills, three star weak foot. Um, you know, he's, he's got a decent frame as well. He's six foot. Um, I don't think this will be a card I look to use straight away. The only reason I'd use this card is for Kem. Like, if you need, like, a Spurs link to Son, for example, like, I see that. I see why he uses card, but, yeah, 
I mean, it's, I'm guessing Hoiberg would probably be better anyway. 83 rated on Hoiberg. The 72 pace will be nice on Basuma. I imagine Hoiberg will have less pace. But... Footwiz is being slow right now. But, like... I don't know. Yeah, 55 pace on Hoiberg is a bit disappointing. If you could merge those two cards together, you'd have a really nice DM there. But it's unfortunate. Yeah, Ang Angisa is looking very good. He's uh, He plays for Napoli at the minute. So, um, I don't know if they've got the rights to Napoli. They probably don't. Which is probably why it says no badge. Um, I don't really know if that's if they do or not. But yeah, Anguis is a really good starting midfielder. Look at Richarlison. Um, 81 rated striker Richarlison card. Four star skills, five star weak foot, high medium. Good go to. Great shooting stats, good pace split, good agility and balance. Uh, really good physicals as well. This is a good go to starter card as well. I do like this card. We already knew Nabil Fakir's like base card stats. In games, 85 agility, 91 balance, 81 strength. Wow. Bro. This is a go-to. This is a this is a go-to card right here. My word. Um, high medium. That's like the perfect cam. Genuinely the perfect cam. You put him on full chemistry. Even on the basic, he's looking incredible. But like, what do you put on this card? Like a hunter? I mean, hawk, sorry? With a hawk, what a card. Bro. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. This card looks insane, man. This card looks absolutely insane in my opinion. <laughs> wow wow carrasco yeah carrasco got a nice upgrade didn't he? he's 85 rated as well i mean carrasco looks good i don't like carrasco uh for a couple of reasons his 71 balance like he's, he always feels a bit clunky in game in my opinion um and also like usually his, his stamina isn't great but his stamina is not too bad to be fair um his high high work rates do let me down as well i'm not a big fan of high high work rates on pretty much any player bar maybe a center mid um but this card looks good, man. Four star, four star as well. Like this is this is definitely a usable card, um, for sure. All right, he's got his in games now. Four star, four star, high low work rates. Eighty two finishing, eighty seven shot power. His stamina is not amazing. Strength is good. Five foot ten with eighty four agility, seventy five balance. I mean, bro, even basic on full chemistry is nice. But like, if you really care about his agility and balance, an engine card improves this card massively, bro. M massively. Look at Vitzel's pace upgrade have a look <laughs> oh no oh what did they do to my guy axel what did they do to him oh no 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 look at luke shaw what's luke shaw saying i know luke shaw got an incredibly big downgrade this year like a minus four he isn't even showing up hello luke luke yeah i'll be honest with you i i, I thought so but i thought as much i thought as much i mean i didn't think his card last year was really an 84 rated card um a minus four is a bit harsh but understandable at the same time um i feel like yeah it's probably pretty understandable i mean yeah like you know <laughs> what what more can you say really um what more can you say really like it's a it's, it's a nice card he is he is quite ratty uh as always probably gonna use this card at some point Gets really good links. I, I have no shame in using this card. Will be one of the best le left backs at the start of the game. Uh, look at Varane. I mean, you can't think of on Mendy without Varane. Varane got a downgrade, and yet I still think this card is one of the better CBs at the start of the game. For sure, right? Uh, good pace. Pace split is decent as well. You put him on full chemistry, even like... Uh, put him on full chemistry, put a shadow on him. This is probably what I'd do. Like, unreal card. Great strength. Good jumping. Like, really, really nice card as well. Um, agility and balance, I've never found an issue at the start of the year with Varane. Never found an issue. He's just a massive frame. Four-star weak foot as well, which is fantastic. I, th I like it, man. This card at Cam will be very, very nice. The thing I like about this card at Cam, right? Good pace. Amazing dribbling. He His dribbling close quarters in game is just just phenomenal like absolutely fantastic i love his dribbling in game um his team of the season card was one of my favorite cards in fifa 22 but he's got incredible passing as well bro his passing's fantastic too so yeah a card i definitely will be looking at trying out i mean we're veering away from starter cards here but yeah like nutty left back probably the best left back in the prem right and he could play right back too very very nice look at st just ignacio i've seen st just already i love i'll have, I'll have, I'll have a look at ignacio and uh and see what we're saying there if it oh no goncharlo ignacio here we go yeah i mean that's a nice card bro that is a nice card he's left footed as well so he can play on the left with and just on the right um we definitely need a shadow i feel like i feel like his defending stats are just were just a little bit too low we definitely need a shadow but it's a nice card oh wow okay and now i understand why everyone's telling me to look at danjima wow this card looks sick imagine him at striker striker on the wing with a with an engine on 
Yeah, secondary position striker. Bro, that card's sick. I can't lie. That card is fantastic. That card, that card is very, very strong. Him at striker is very nice. Great pace, great agility and balance. He's strong. He's quite tall. I like that a lot. That, this, this isn't bad at all, in fairness. This isn't bad at all. Malasio, I think, looks like a decent card. That's not bad at all. I quite like that. I quite like that card. Um, I think, yeah, his passing is not amazing. But this is the kind of card I think I would definitely put something like a catalyst on. You, you'd need to improve that passing for sure. But he's got the dribbling. Good tackling stats for sure. Um, you know, good stamina. Good jumping. His strength isn't bad at all. His aggression's decent. For, for a really cheap starter left back, or if you need a Dutch one, I think we're looking good there. I think we're looking good. We've got Premier League center backs here. So we've got Akanji, who looks really strong um, as, a, as a starter Premier League CB. Four-star weak foot as well. I like I like four-star weak foot players for sure. Um, and Endika. Um, where are we looking? Evan Endika. 80 pace, 81. Ooh, I'll tell you who I want to look at. Do they have Bella Kotchap? Oh, no. Is he still a silver? They've done him dirty. What's Hector Bellerin looking like? Eh, I thought he'd have more pace. Kim Min Jae at Napoli is a really nice looking card. And the thing with Kim Min Jae that I like, links to Son, links to Park Ji Sung, gets to Serie A links as well. Um, there's some nice like links you can make there as well. If you're Danny Aarons, there's a bunch of uh, Koreans that you'll definitely link to as well. Um, that's a nice looking starter card. For once, we have a like a, a usable Tammy Abraham from the start of the game. The only issue is his agility and balance, but I'm hoping this year maybe... You know, you can you can use some taller players and, and get some like headers in. Because a six foot five with decent jumping as well, he'll win almost every header. That'll be strong. Like I really think this card is a really good card with an anchor on. I like this Pedri card a lot. Um we'll have a look at Wine Aldum though. We'll have a look at uh, Don's Wine Aldum. That's not bad. That's not bad. Like that could have been worse, I feel like. That could have been that could have been a lot worse. Uh I wanna look at Steven Steven Bergvine. He popped up there when I when I typed in that as well. Um, maybe I'll type in Berg for that. Apart from his three-star skill moves, amazing pace and shooting, amazing physicals, he will just blast past people. I like this card. This card, this card looks nice. I really like this card. I really, I, I like an offensive CDM. He gets a French strong, like not strong link, but he gets a French and league link with Fekir as well. Um, I'm being told to look at Perisic as a left mid. He can't play at centre mid though. If he could be a centre mid, that'd be class. Not terrible. Um, maybe as a left back, like it could work. Full chemistry with a shadow on. As a left, as a left back, yeah. As a left back, sorry, you can't see him right now because of the uh, sub alert. But as a left back, as a left back, that works. That could work quite well. Not bad, not bad. 